What's going on everybody? Broken Games HDR back at it again with another video. So reports have come out that Media Molecule has been hit with layoffs to about 15 to 20 percent of their staff, which turns out to be around 20 employees out of their 135 employee headcount. So luckily for them, they're still uh, over the 100 um, employee headcount. Um, now listen, everybody knows if you've been watching me, I have no love for Media Molecule. I've been calling and saying they deserve to be shut down for a while because they haven't done anything. They have not released a product, a game, a title of consequence in like a decade, something meaningful that people want to play, talk about, that actually uh, makes a dent, that, that you know, has implications. They, they're, 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 they're a studio that has released games, and it's, and it's almost the equivalent of them not releasing anything. So it's like, what are they doing? What are they taking up space for? And a lot, I feel like some PlayStation fans like to argue with me about this. And it's like, bro, for one, <laughs> this article came out like three hours ago. And I'm looking on the internet and like, and on Twitter, and hardly anybody's talking about it because nobody really cares about Media Molecule. As, as much as PlayStation fans like to push back on me about this, bro, nobody cares. Like, if, if nobody's talking about this, if this was a studio that actually made games that even PlayStation fans actually cared about, that think, like, th there's actual ramifications and consequences, and this is, like, a, a terrible thing that's happening, more people would be talking about it. It's been out for hours, and it's like, yeah, granted, it's, it's like, still in the morning, but, bro, if, if this was Santa Monica, Naughty Dog, uh, one of these other studios that actually make games that people care about, oh, it, people would be up and talking about it already. But it's Media Molecule, and people know they haven't done anything. They're, some people who, who defend them are just in denial. They're what Japan Studios used to be, this, this studio that hasn't done anything really in a long time or hasn't done anything consistently uh, in really in a long time, but people still want to defend them and protect them for what, from what they did a while ago. And I, I'm going to be real with you. I've never really liked any of their games. I, and I, I've, I've never been a little big planet fan, that little tearaway game, these little the dreams, garbage, this little ar this artistic stuff they do. Nobody really wants to play it. And that, I think that's, get, that, that's proven in the sales. Every other PlayStation studio has done, has like grown and become better and, and released like a hit that, you know, it, it is like really meaningful um, and, it's, and, and commercial successes like every studio their game has become more of a commercial success than it ever has been in previous generations except media molecule it's like they're still stuck in the ps3 generation matter of fact they probably did better then i never liked little big planet i'm gonna be real with you i think even when little big planet was popping i feel like a lot of playstation fans just pretended to like it or or, or they overhyped it at least because i don't really think like little big planet was really that big of a deal it was really that serious or anybody really cared about it or liked it that much it was it was overhyped even then but it was a playstation exclusive so dudes felt like they i think they felt like they had to hype it but it was never it was never that like it was never that type of game and listen i've been saying they need to create a video game stop don't give us engines don't give us this creative nonsense nobody wants that on on playstation Numbers don't lie. Like, and it's a shame that they never even put this game. Dreams would have been more of a success on Nintendo Switch and PC. That's the type of audience for that type of game. PlayStation Dudes is not trying to play this type of game. That's just the fact of it. People, like, you know, like to call me, you know, cold. I don't think I'm being cold at all, uh, you know, for saying they should be shut down. I think I'm being practical. As a studio, you have to produce. You have to release games that people want to play, and they have just not done that. So do I feel bad about, listen, it's people losing their job. It sucks. But do I like feelings, the, 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 the feeling and, and sympathetic, you know, empathetic side of it has nothing to do with like business and production. You know, it is what it is. Sometimes it, it sucks for people to lose their job, but sometimes studios need to get like shut down. People have to be let go. You, you can't keep a studio open running on feelings and emotions. Those don't pay the bills and those don't make consumers happy. Some of, some of you, you would rather studios stay open just to feel good about it than to actually get games from them, which makes no sense to me. I don't care, I don't care how I feel about a studio. They need to, like, release, release a game. Like, it doesn't matter how I feel about them.
Like, I don't know what feelings and emotions have to do with any of this stuff. And I know some people, some people might even reach and bring up like something like Naughty Dog. Yes, Naughty Dog's output is trash. They're, tr- they're, they're how long they, they take to make a game is bad. Nobody denies that. But here's the thing. When we all know, even though, you know, we feel about how we feel about what, about how things have been going with them. We all know when they release a game, it is going to be in the 90s. It is going to be a game that is considered amazing, possibly a game of, gen- of, of the generation, and is going to be a massive commercial success. You cannot say that about Media Molecule. If Media Molecule announce, you know, if, if the next game that they actually release, if they ever get to release a game, we don't know what it's going to be. We don't know if we're going to like it. We don't know if it's going to be a success. We don't know how people are going to receive it. It's, it's nothing but question marks. That's the difference. There, there's nothing, there's no guarantees out of Media Molecule that you can say, you know what? I'm going to get this out of that studio every time. What, what, what are the, I, don't, I didn't even like Days Gone. But I can say that, uh, you know, that, that studio is, is at least headed in, in the right direction with what they did. They made, you know, some, clearly some mistakes along, along the path of the, the development of that game. But I think Sony Bend still has something there that they can improve on and, like, get better at. They, they released a game that people wanted to play. I could say it, it almost reached 10 million copies or something like that. Nobody cared about Dreams. That tearaway game, like, come on, bro. Come on, bro. Wait, they done wasted a lot of freaking time. Think about the, think about the games that have released in the amount of time that they've released something that, that gamers actually care about. When's the last time you've seen, like, where you were in any type of, like, uh, you know, just gaming conversation in space, and you heard people bring up Media Molecule to talk about them? Like, their game, actually. When's, when's the last time that happened? You you damn near wouldn't even know that they're they're the they're the um they're the runt of the litter. They're the ugly duckling. Nobody talks about them. Nobody they're irrelevant. They're irrelevant. You you ain't never been in no no space. And people when people talk about you know the great Sony Studios, when has when's the last time Media Molecule has ever been brought up for anything positive? But y'all want to get a, get a, you know get mad at me for calling out what's very clear and obvious. Now I don't think they're going to get shut down because they're because of the because they only um, laid off twenty people and they still you know and if the number is correct then that that means they're still at one hundred and fifteen employees. It's still possible, but I think if you're going to shut down a studio, then the layoff is probably going to be like the layoff is probably going to be more significant than that. If if it went like if it was like forty people that got laid off, I was like. Ooh. Ooh, y'all, y'all, y'all boys getting shut down, but it, it, but they're still over. You still have they're still keeping a team that is clearly a team that its intent is to make a game, and you have enough staff to to clearly still make a game. That's that's very clear. One hundred and fifteen um, for the type of games they make. Yeah, you you clearly still want to keep them open. I, that looks like the intent. You want to keep them open and have enough uh, employees for them to make a game, because we know once you know. You, you kind of know the number um, that if they dropped under, okay, yeah, y'all, y'all can't make a game with this amount of people. 115, it could, it could get done. So, listen, I, I think their, their survivability completely depends on what they drop next. If this next game is not a, not a smash, not a banger, not some people want to play, they're out of here. I'm telling you they're out of here. So they, they better put all that creativity and that, that fancy-smancy you know, artistic nonsense in the closet and get to making a game that people actually want to play and care about. And put dreams on PC, damn it. Like, what are y'all taking so long for? So y'all can at least salvage and make some, make some profit. It might even get a second life on there. I really believe it might get a second life on there because the PC community would go crazy. They would mod it and all this and, and really get creativity and all that. Listen, bruh, even make a deal with Nintendo. If you want to like really save it, like make a deal with Nintendo, put that joint on Switch. I know it would never happen. I'm just saying. I'm just throwing stuff out there. But um, let me know what y'all think about this. I'll catch y'all on the next video. I'm out. Peace. I was right. I was right about me and the molecule. People, people should listen to me more. Just saying.